All right, this quick video tutorial is to show you how to use Explain Everything with Google Slides on the iPad in order to annotate on top of those Google Slides, especially when they have animations. Because with the animations, um, it makes it kind of hard to annotate because if you turn it into a PDF or something like that, you can't see the annotation, or sorry, the animations while you're annotating on top of that project. So the first thing you'd want to do is to obviously have your Google Slide presentation created and saved in Google Drive. Once it's in there, you're going to navigate to explain everything, which is where I'm at right now on this screen. And what I did before I started this video was I clicked the plus button right here and I added a web, added a web browser. Inside of that web browser, um, I went in and I searched for my presentation and uh, my presentation is right here, annotate and um, with animations. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this presentation. Now with this presentation open, um, I can go ahead and start annotating on top of it, just like the pen tool or the laser pointer, depending on what you're trying to do. And you'll notice I'll just go ahead and uh, underline something there so you can see that I can write actually on this presentation. To get back control of the presentation, because right now I'm on the pen tool, I want to get back control of my web browser. To do that, you select the pointer finger in the top left and then double tap the browser. You notice it selects the browser here with kind of a light blue line. And now I can go ahead and advance my slides. Notice I have um, animations in here. I can go back in and I can select the pen tool and continue um, annotating on top of this. Now, something you'll want to be aware of is I'm writing physically on top of the presentation here, actually the browser, not the, the actual um, presentation. And so if I advance my slide forward at this point, my annotations are still going to be there. So that's something you'll want to think about. Um, either you only work on one slide of a presentation, or the other option is, is not to write on the actual presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and select this browser um, and shrink it down and move it to the side. And now that it's on the side, I can write my notes over here and it won't affect the actual presentation. And I can go back to the presentation and I can go ahead and advance the slides and my notes will still be over here on the right hand side. Um, if you get too many notes in here, you, you can always erase them um, and write more. If that's the avenue you want to go, um, I would recommend using the record feature of Explain Everything while you're working. And then you can see um, your notes captured live there. Uh, and you can continue to re-watch those notes even after you erase them. Or you can turn the record feature into a video to turn it in um, or to document it permanently. Uh, so basically, um, to create you know, annotations on top of a Google Slideshow while it's live and you can advance slides and you can watch animations, use Explain Everything, insert a browser, use the pen tool or laser tool to go ahead and annotate, um, remember to get back control of the browser to advance the slides. Use the pointer finger and double tap the browser to get control of it. And then you can go forward and backward if you need to at that point. I'd also recommend recording um, so you can watch it again later or turn it in um, to a video when you want to. Hopefully this was helpful.